Okay, part three. Now I want my dog to go and target the bag of cinnamon without me adding any kind of motion. I just want the bag of cinnamon there and my dog basically randomly coming across it and understanding this is something I could target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my bag here and reward my dog once for targeting it, but then I'm going to walk my dog away from the bag in the good boy. And now there you go, coming back to it. If my dog gets the idea of maybe I should go there and target it, I'm going to reward him a ton. All right, here you go, Fusion. So again, he can see me putting it down. Yeah, and he's very eager to target it, so I gave him a treat. All right, come on, Fusion. Now we walk away from it, yeah? Can even have him do a little trick, trick here, like a right. Good boy. And the left. Good boy. And the lie down. Can you lie down? Roll over. There you go. What a good boy. Okay, now I walk back to the... There you go. Good boy. And when my dog thinks maybe I should target that, I give him many treats. So we started out being highly encouraging for our dog to go and target that bag by hiding it, bringing it out, putting it on the ground. And now we have it simply laying there on the ground. And I just want my dog to come across and be like, oh, that's the one. That's what I should target. Okay. So this is kind of the um, concept that they develop in this step. Okay. One more time. So have my bag of cinnamon. Gonna put it down. My dog targets it. I can, can have a treat there. Fusion is really eager to target this. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna walk away with my dog. Yeah. So that <laughs> good boy. <laughs> I want him to have this idea himself. Maybe I should go and look for this cinnamon bag. Yeah. Or whenever I come across the cinnamon bags, it's probably a good idea to go and check it out. There you go, Fusion. What a good boy. What a great job. All right, 